first frame, Paul Davis to the break. Paul Davis, the world number 65 from Cardiff, provides the opposition for John Higgins this morning. John Higgins, 1998 world champion, and he was also ranked number one. Now down number six. Consistency, often within the same match, has been Higgins' main problem the last two or three seasons. Still looks as good as ever at times, but uh, sometimes when he's missed a couple, the confidence is just drained out of him. Thicker than intended on that safety, which is why the cue ball hasn't reached the ball line. He's come out of it reasonably well, though. Black's tied up. The red into the left corner. Not a lot of value for that, so... This one into the right corner, and round the back of the black. Should finish on the blue here, you would think. Taking the white arm down the table and well, it'll have to be the green if he wants to continue. He's got the option of just nudging in behind the brown. He's having a look at the green, but it's a thinnish snake. Doesn't like it. John Higgins, one. Paul Davis making a comparatively rare appearance on television. That's a bit tricky. If he tries that, he could leave one of the two reds to the right of the bunch, and that's why he's looking at an option. Quite a tricky escape, this. twice across the table he'll have to be very precise to get into that bunch and leave things safe well he's caught the other red and it's turned out not all that bad there's one possible red into the middle pocket he would automatically Drop on to the blue if he rolls this in. One. isn't available as I mentioned previously Six. so I have to play for pink or blue here yeah you mentioned Clive uh, John being number six in the world a couple of years ago you'd never have thought he'd have dropped out of the top four would you the way he was playing no but uh, he's had uh, some surprising defeats In this event here last year, Seven. he lost to Ricky Walden, who at that time was ranked uh, somewhere in the 70s, and that was despite making a 147. 
I think he's got a bit of a unique record as well because John, in six seasons, got to be world number one. Now, that's quite an achievement. I think Mark 13. Williams managed to do it in seven seasons. Fourteen. And he was, of course, the player who eventually toppled Stephen Hendry from top spot. Well, this is a bonus. I wasn't sure if that red to the right of the black was on, but it is, obviously. Nineteen. <clears throat> Just enough room to get to the potting angle, as you can see from that picture. Twenty. Still a couple of loose reds, but uh, it's not a good pack to go into if he chooses to do that. Uh, he could stick in the reds there. Uh, he might just leave that for the time being. It would be much better to go into the reds from the blue. 27. Now, does that red to the left of the bunch go, or is he going to have to try and force his way into the pack? It's not a good angle if he's going to try and get into them here. he have to play this with quite a bit of power if he's going to disturb them. Well, he couldn't have played it any better. And the only possibility, I think, 35. is a thin snick in the middle. Split the reds nicely, but hasn't finished ideally. That red that you're talking about, Dennis, looks awfully thin. It, it seems to be just past the middle pocket, which is why he's chosen this one instead. That was uh, at an awkward angle, that pot. 36. But it was superbly played. Well, he looks in terrific form. This is the first ranking event of the season. 43. And he looks very sharp. This was a lovely little shot, very delicately played and fully committed himself. And a chance of a sizable break here, the way the reds are situated. Yeah, I think John's just had the one match. Uh, they had a new tournament, the Northern Ireland Trophy, and he lost in the last 16 to the young Northern Ireland player, Mark Allen. In fact, he lost that one 4 one five. Yes, that was. Back in August, though, when uh, I don't think anybody really got going. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Sean Murphy's 139 is the front runner. 59 for the £4,000 highest break prize. And uh, 60. That target is not under threat with this effort because uh, Higgins potted a single red before he embarked on this break. 67. Well, he'll just concentrate now on winning the frame and then go on and try and compile the century break. 68. Something like 319 centuries in his professional career. He's a prolific break builder. 
and looks very comfortable out there, it has to be said. It's very relaxed. If Higgins does clear the table here, he will reach the end of the first frame with 100% pot success record and 100% safety record. Perfection. Now he's got an angle on the black. There's one difficult red over near the side cushion. I wonder will he try and bring that into play here. Well, he's developed it slightly. He's finished on the other red. Had he had knocked it a bit further up the table, it would have been on for the middle. But the red, the right side of the table, is not a problem. He can pop the black and drop in behind that, but it's the one on the left that could spoil him from clearing the table here. Just a wee bit shorter pace. He's going to need the extension and the rest. 91. He really needs to get somewhere near the circle there to leave an angle on the black so that he could develop the red over on the left side that's safe. 92. That should be okay. I think he can cannon the red out. Somehow or other, got round the back of that. 99. When he was trying to cannon it into a better position. <laughs> well, 100. A generous round of applause for a, a terrific pot with the rest. Uh, is he hard enough? This is perfection. Need a little touch aside here. To get him five. over to the green. One hundred and seven. What a start for the Scot. Well, the flying Scot. One hundred and ten. Paul Davis in the background uh, can't do anything about this. He hasn't had a chance. 119. This has been perfection. As you said, Dennis, the only question though is can he keep up this standard or something very like it? 125. 132 in the frame, John Simply Higgins. Simply superb. John Higgins clears with 132 and leads by the frame to nil. Touching ball.
of a touching ball situation, a player very often attempts to play up behind a colour by one or two cushions. A nice little flick off the yellow. Snookered on all the reds. No real problem though. Just off a couple of cushions nestled in the reds. Should be okay. And just one cushion would be enough. Touching ball would help. Touching ball. It is. He can get down behind the yellow here, I feel. Well, maybe not. He's touching the red, so uh, hasn't got the angle to get there. That's so over the other side of the table. This looks good. Yes, good shot, well played. Well, there is a path, believe it or not, he can get past the green, past the reds, and he can just glance off them to get back down to the safety zone. Well, now then. A little bit awkward here. The brown's slightly hampering Paul. But there's a couple of reds he can go out into the right corner. I think he's got to really take the bull by the horns here and just give it a go. He's 4-1 down. Might as well go out fighting. tight the one he's looking at Did the red past the blue can't be a lot of room there well, he's playing in such a way as he would finish on the black and well, that's plenty of room now from that angle as you can see but still got to be very precise with this must just miss the blue no Screw back with the intention of uh, not leaving his opponent the easy red to left corner if he missed it. I think it cuts in this red. Well, he doesn't fancy it, but this is a much more difficult one to the middle, as you can see. Pretty tough shot that, and it wasn't a straightforward run to position either. Couldn't just stroke it in. 
one good pot and one good position on the black here and John Higgins would be in with a terrific chance. Oh, he snookered what? himself. <laughs> Didn't judge the cannon on the red as he intended. Might still be able to take the yellow, but just watch the little nudge there. He wanted to hit that other red full ball. But I feel sure he'll take the yellow on. The angle will automatically take the white back up towards the blue. Yellow ball. Well, you can see he's going to stun it around the angles. Well, he only half committed himself to that. John Higgins, one. The reason I say that, look where the white's finished. Yeah, hit the yellow much too thick. And a little bit lucky to finish the way he has. Could have left something a lot easier than this. by a long way. I think his confidence is uh, at rock bottom at the moment. Well, I don't think Davies has ever truly settled the telltale symptoms of uh, anxiety have been there throughout the match. Well, he nearly missed that black Clive because he, he hasn't got the position that he intended and eight. Let's have a look at this. It, well, it seemed to jump a little bit. Nine. Yes, it's so easy to sit here and be critical of players and really when you have experienced what they go Fourteen. through to get to the televised stages, they play so well in the qualifying rounds and then they just try that a little bit too hard and, and I think that's what's happened Fifteen. to Paul here. He's just trying too hard. He wants to play well under the TV cameras and it's so difficult for them. What do you think of the chances that this will be the last visit of the match, Dennis? Well, it's looking good for John Higgins, and uh, he'll certainly want to clinch the match. 17. It's very early on. He's only 18 points on the board, but a vintage 18. John Higgins would, would certainly clinch the match. really have to do something careless because he's got them nicely situated here. 23. Black potable and to one corner pocket at the moment. Twenty-four. Absolutely where he wants the cue ball. 
he can please himself now. He's got a choice of at least four reds to play on. He'd like to maybe get on the one to the right of the black, but he's got plenty of time to wait for that. And the reason I say that, it, it just clears the black know. for both corner pockets. He may play for it this 30. time. Just depends though, I think maybe he's gone a little bit too far. It's the wrong angle to play for that one. Thirty-seven. Well, has he gone a little bit too far again? He might have to play for the blue this time. Yeah, he can't run through on the black from that angle. But once again, he's played it perfectly. Yes, with that sort of shot, you need to be above the blue, but not too far above the blue. Well, the odds certainly are in John's favour to clinch the match here now. And, but he started off so well, but it has to be said, Paul Davies has had his chances and he could have got to 3-2. That was the big turning point, the fifth frame. And now that he's straight on the black, it's easy to get on that red, just to the right of it. Looks to be almost straight. Yeah, he just pops the black, runs the white through, about six inches. And he's in perfect position. 30 looks like the end now, Clive. 51. Sure does. Fifty-two. Higgins uh, took the opening frame with a clearance of 132. Led 2 0 and 3 1. 59. Made a 68 from 43 behind to go 4-1. 60. And now that he's uh, potted that red, he's mathematically passed the post. Yeah, you got to feel a, a little bit sorry for 68. Paul Davies. He's come here showing some very good form. He finished last season very well, but he just was too anxious today. He's had his chances, but he let them slip away. Just trying that bit too hard. Higgins has missed a few. 75. Including uh, a black off its spot from point blank range, but uh, he's been pretty solid. 76. Safety success rate, 93%. Pop success rate, also 93%. 83. Yes, I think once you get into the 90s, uh, percentage-wise, with pots and your safety, you, you've got to be very pleased with your game. 84. 91. 92. Pop success rate, 93%. There's confirmation of it. 
same for success the same. 99. And what a way to finish. He started with a break of 132, and there's a good chance that he could finish with a century break, so you can't do much better than that. Sean Higgins, 99. It looked a third in the century, but uh, 99 okay. nevertheless uh, concludes the match. John Higgins beats Paul Davies by five frames to one.